Hey guys, what's up? Beast from Beast Toys here. Go ahead and give it a like and thumbs up and subscribe if you want to get more notifications of my reviews. Quick uh, Veils Toys Clone Trooper mail call quick review. So uh, just got back from running to the post office and checked my own mailbox and these were in there. So I just did a Webster video, just posted that today that I did last night. So it's on there, Masterverse. The elusive Webster, a really hard piece to get, by the way. So it was my other AliExpress purchase. So, and you know, as I like to do PayPal credit and get over a hundred bucks, so I can get that six months. Um, I did this order and that Webster order. So, you get a nice little box to ship something in, though. If I want to have something small. Um, I really don't have any more GI Joe figures listed, but I could probably list a few small. Uh, original Star Wars figures so that's a, that's a thought anyway so speaking of Star Wars what you're here for we got three count them one two three um, clones they're 13 let's see 13 oh man this thing's kind of warped looks a little bit all right 13th Battalion Troopers we got. So let's see see how they look. So this one comes with the, uh, they always smell funny. I know you guys are probably always, you guys that watch me any more than nor or often or frequent, you always notice I sniff stuff, especially when I get like this stuff here. Anyhow, so let's check him out. His, uh, oh man, his helmet popped right off. So I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing. So here you go. Here's your up close look and then this helmet comes right on and off it's a shame the head sculpt wasn't painted i guess you can if you if i knew somebody but here he is and you get that commander cody look so that's good got him and uh if you can tell this piece this piece wiggles it's a little crooked too if you can see that you just kind of got to adjust it as good as you can so there's one, one down. Let's see if we can stand him up over here out of the way. One down, two to go. Uh, I need to get this guy out. This head, this head piece, I'm worried about it. It's kind of, I, I really don't want to open at that end, but I also don't want him sitting on his head for any more than a split second. I'll show you why. So he's got the antenna piece. His helmet's loose. So these obviously can come off. So I don't know how I like that. If I don't know how I like it. The pauldron's super loose, as you can see, it kind of wiggles around. I just don't know how I feel about that. It's nice to get these pieces and have different, you know, be able to do that. But I guess sometimes the quality, you know, definitely got that AliExpress smell. Sometimes the qualities is a little lacking. But they're not bad. I wouldn't. I mean, if I reviewed the store on a regular basis, which I've bought several clones for, I'd always give it a pretty good review. These are just, for the first time, I've got to say, not quite to my expectations. It's not that they're bad. It's not that they're bad at all. It's just, like I'm showing you, loose, loose. I mean, everything else is fine. It comes with this piece. This is not cloth like a, a normal. You know how normally you get that. So there's two down, one to go. But, uh, it just it is what it is. So just instead of splitting it open, I always yeah, take the knife. Got a knife for a reason. So then, see this guy comes with ooh arc pistols. No, don't, don't remember catching that one on the when I ordered him. I don't usually use the big. I really think these are for your plain phase two clone troopers otherwise and phase one otherwise I wouldn't use them for much. His helmet is on good. His pauldron's a bit loose. I like that we get the uh I'll show you some neat aspect of this guy. This is probably the best one of the three. Although I prefer this one looks wise. This one I think turned out turns out the best. And I'll show you in just a second why I say that. Let me get him all situated here real quick. Put the art pistols in the holsters. So 
He looks good. Come with the art pistols, which that's the one I would have thought you would have got the art pistols for, to be honest with you. The pauldron is, is, is. So I don't really care for the setup on the two pauldrons for these two guys. I don't really think they extremely, they're fitting extremely well. So, but I'll show you anyway what it looks like. So, all right. So here he is. As you can see, arc pistols here and here. Um, what I was saying though, the belt. Uh, so I expected it maybe to be loose and move around, but the point of his paint paint app comes down and it does hit his belt. So that's kind of different. You know, usually you would see it inside. Uh, you would have to move the belt and see it inside. I guess they got it fixed up correctly, or if you want to call it correctly. I like the paint app up here on the helmet. It's on the back side as well. I just don't, the pauldron's just loose. That's the only, my only complaint about it. Otherwise, this figure is really pretty tight and pretty good. So anyway, so there you go. Some 13th guys. You can still get, and by the way, your regular 13th are 18 bucks on GameStop, I believe. If you're a pro member, you'll get that 5% off. But there's your, your three, uh, 13th battalion so anyway that's it guys quick i'll express uh mail drop so very cool good job for the most part like i said the looseness of the pauldron and the helmets and the kind of get me i feel like this one his little visor is a little bit off centered and it's warped and it's it's kind of loose on his if you if you screw with it a little bit it kind of it wiggles just to slide i don't know it's hard for you to probably see that on video because it's so small but but it's not bad. I just, uh, price wise, these have kind of floated up in price. They used to be around 16 to 18. Nowadays, they're about 20. So, kind of surprising coming from overseas that you would get that price increase. But I mean, I know probably the worldwide economy is not just the US, but I know the worldwide's probably, you know, everything's kind of down a little bit and they're raising prices, although I really don't feel like they should. But that's a whole other topic for another conversation another day. But anyway, so there you go guys three ollie clones three good looking ones uh, i'm gonna go good with my, good with my clone collection so all right that's it guys give it a thumbs up thank you for watching and with the ollie clones veils toys clones i'm beast and beast toys we'll see you